Hello, I'm Norbert Gleicher, MD, and I'm the Medical Director and Chief Scientist here at CHR. I want to talk to you today about obesity, or simply overweight. Um, this is a topic uh, which we are frequently asked about, and interestingly, it also recently caught the attention of the New York Times, uh, where a pretty interesting article appeared in the weekend edition. Uh, obesity has significant relevance to infertility. And it is best explained by saying if we have 100 women in one group who are significantly overweight, and 100 women in another group who are of normal weight, and otherwise there's no difference between those two groups of women, of the 100 women who are overweight, if they go through IVF cycles, will have a significantly lower pregnancy rate than the 100 women with normal weight. In other words, just being obese reduces chances uh, in IVF and uh, also chances of spontaneous conception. Now, uh, that is probably pretty well known, uh, even amongst uh, many of our patients, certainly within the profession. Uh, but the reason why we chose to address this issue uh, in last month's uh, newsletter and why we are bringing it now to you in this format is because as so many times in, in medicine uh, there is too much generalization going on uh, surrounding this subject. There is this tendency as uh, one of the patients quoted in the New York Times article said that if you are overweight I think she was a, real, a little bit ruder. She said, if you're fat, uh, everything is automatically assumed uh, to be resolved by losing weight. Uh, and unfortunately, she's absolutely right. There is this impulse uh, as, a, as a physician uh, to say to a patient, uh, okay, go and lose weight. Uh, we all know that is not as easy done as it is uh, obviously recommended. It is also not necessarily the correct recommendation for every patient because obesity is not the same disease and yes obesity is a disease uh, in everybody. There are different reasons for why patients are overweight, both on the female and the male side. Uh, just one example, and, and actually not an infrequent example. Um, obesity can simply be a fact of uh, lifestyle. We see a lot of couples where both are significantly overweight. And in these couples, um, lifestyle changes may be relatively easy because they can do it together. In these couples also their fertility may not even be a medical infertility, it may be a technical infertility. They may simply have difficulty uh, doing the things that are required to get pregnant. And in these couples and especially if they are younger and still have time, uh, there is indeed nothing wrong in saying to them, okay, let's really make a major effort and over the next six or 12 months try to lose as much weight as possible and then start treatment again. But that is one extreme and to, in, in, in many ways that is a very easy case to manage. Obesity, as I said, can have many reasons and it can have many medical reasons. So for example, uh, one of the most frequently associated conditions 
uh, with infertility, with female infertility, uh, is the so-called polycystic ovary syndrome. And particularly one of the major phenotypes of that uh, polycystic ovary syndrome, uh, the so-called classical phenotype, is typically associated with significant obesity. And in those patients, dealing with the obesity is much, much more difficult. And uh, it may not be as easy for these people to lose weight simply uh, via lifestyle changes. They may, may need uh, additional uh, medical interventions. So it is important not to generalize. And there's one other reason why it is important not to generalize, and that is, as so many times when we're talking about infertility, the age of the patient. There's obviously a big difference uh, between a younger patient where there's no rush in achieving pregnancy. On the other hand, if a severely obese uh, patient arrives at age 43 or 44, we really don't have the time to send her on a weight loss uh, diet. Uh, so individualization here is just as important as in almost any other area uh, of infertility care. Now let me uh, finish up by trying to give you a little bit of an understanding why obesity is a significant problem in IVF. And I need to start off by saying uh, that mostly we don't understand yet why, but the data are very convincing, as I said before, that obesity is clearly associated with lower fertility. But in the recent years, some very interesting research has been performed by some colleagues, uh, particularly in California, uh, which has shown that in obese women, lipids actually even penetrate the eggs. In other words, the egg quality of um, obese women is inferior actually because lipids permeate the eggs. And that is obviously very important because egg quality makes up 95% of embryo quality. And if we start out with poor egg quality, uh, everything uh, becomes much more difficult. So I hope you understand what it means being significantly overweight, and I'm here not talking about a few pounds here and there, I'm talking about significant obesity, what it means uh, for becoming pregnant. Uh, it is not always weight loss that is the solution. One must individualize like in most other fertility conditions. Thank you.